Hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars The Clone Wars action figure review. And today we have the brand new Captain Rex. So, um, I did a review on, uh, Captain Rex, but it, it was just failing to upload. I tried it loads of times, but it just wasn't working. So, unfortunately, I cannot show you what he looks like in the brand new Clone Wars packaging. But, um, I guess it doesn't matter. You, but, um, yeah. Uh, but the figure is absolutely brilliant. It's brilliant. Let me zoom in. So I've just got him in this little pose here. So he's looking really cool. And I'll be want we've been uh, wanting a really good uh, Captain Rex for ages, and we got. The one in the Art Troopers battle pack, but I thought that was pretty crap to be honest. But um, anyway, let's have a look at the packaging. So there's a nice uh, wedge cut shot of Captain Rex there. Styles Kermals. Uh They got the brand new packaging. It's a bit wider, this one, because it's taken away the uh, battle game, uh, the card battle game. Uh, bit here, and they swapped it with the gear, uh, from, uh, for the, uh, figure. Which is, uh, much better, I think, because, uh, nobody ever liked the battle game, to be honest. So we still got the, uh, Clone Wars Adventures, 30 day membership, and the, uh, Station Cash, got Captain Rex, Clone Wars number 62. And then we have the little ad there of the battle game card, so I have a massive one there. Which is much better. Includes, sorry, can we see that, but it says includes rocket pack and propulsion pack. Turn around, there's a nice picture of Captain Rex there from, I'm not sure which episode, but um, yeah, it's really nice. We've got a picture of the figure here. Another Clone Wars adventure ad. Propulsion pack with swiveling blaster. Blaster, sorry. And here is the um, information, so if you want to pause it now, you can read that. You got each figure, uh, but sorry, they'll add from the battle game there, and then we have the rest of the uh, wave. So, really cool. So, uh, let's get to the figure. So now we're going to look at Captain Rex's detail, and he is one of the most highly detailed clones. Uh, I have in my collection, and uh, he is pretty awesome. Uh, so let's have a quick look at his helmet. Of course, is the uh, trademark insignia, which are uh, actually Mandalorian uh, J guys. Which people who don't know what it is, uh, J guys are literally um, Hawkeyes in the Star Wars world, but Mandalorians actually used uh, J guys. Um, uh, they replaced medals for J-Guys, so if somebody, uh, showed, uh, an act of bravery or, um, something, they would put J-Guys on them. And, uh, I believe Boba Fett, uh, actually had some, I think. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. He's got these little yellow bits here, which I'm not sure what they are. They're just like, um, like a tally. Uh, I'm not sure. He's got the uh, pauldron, a nice dark blue colour here in a grey. He's got the uh, 501st like blue, dark blue line, and they've made it quite uh, kind of wiggly so it looks like um, they've done it themselves. Wow. The others, it just had a straight line and it didn't look very accurate, I didn't think. He's got a uh, soft camera, and he's got this little blue line, blue, like. Uh, Outline here, you can see that just around the corner. He's got these massive holsters which he holds weapons in, and um, yeah, he's got quite uh, thicker legs, and they are longer. He is longer than the uh, normal clone, taller, sorry, but um, yeah, I prefer these ones a lot. You got another little blue bit there. Now, looking at uh, his weapons. He comes with these uh, DC-15 blaster rifles, which he normally always has. Um, 
So it's a different sculpt. He's got this little knobbly bit here and this little bit here. And the way he can fit his finger in is bigger where the trigger is. And I prefer this mold a lot more. Uh, the uh, DC-15 blasts and pistols do fit in nice and snug. And they uh, look really nice inside as well. So now we're going to look at Captain Rex's features. So he comes with, which you probably already noticed, a propulsion pack. Which is a, a pretty big, um, pretty big, uh, piece of gear he has on him. And, uh, but then it's kind of cool when you look at it. I had to get used to it to like at first. I thought it was a bit too expanded universe for me. And quite a few uh, people have said that. Um, because I prefer it with it off. But, um, I think it's quite cool. Um, but yeah, so this propulsion pack comes with a removable jet pack, which is really nice. And also you can just peg that onto the back of uh, Captain Rex. And then you take this off, which is um, really cool, but getting it on him, the propulsion pack, is a bit tricky. Because you got to put these, this, uh, like... Uh, this uh, uh, bit here and the propulsion pack are two separate pieces and you've got to flick this bit on that peg take that out there and you've got to do it on the other side which is a bit tricky but um, when it's on it looks cool so you just put the jetpack back in there he does come with this pistol which we have seen a couple of times before uh, I think the first time I saw this was with the um, anti hail fire commander and um, also the art trooper in the art trooper's battle pack, the red one. I'm not too fussed on it, but um, quite cool just to have it in there. It also has these little bits here, which flip down to look like they're guns, which is quite nice, really. So um, I have had to put him on a stand. Uh, because it's just too heavy for him to have it on his own. But um, this piece, of course, we're going to look at his head, uh, head and body sculpt. So if I just take off his helmet, he has this really, really nice looking head sculpt, which is one of the most accurate head sculpts of a clone trooper from the Clone Wars that I've seen. He's got the hair colour right, the skin tone. It's brilliant. Really, really cool. So yeah, really nice. This helmet fits on really nice as well, not like uh, the first one where it just kept falling off. And it looks better. So, uh, articulation. Uh, he has bolt trimmed head, all hinged shoulders, which only go out that far. All hinged uh, elbow, swivel wrist, swivel waist. Two uh, bowl hinges on his hip. So you can turn it around all the way around like that. It's just kind of weird, but still quite cool. Hasbro are putting more effort into their figures. Ball hinged knees, and unfortunately no articulation in the ankles. But um, where the detail and everything else comes up, it really the ankle articulation really doesn't make much difference. So uh, sculpt. I'm pretty sure he has the arm sculpt. A new arm sculpt, sorry. So these uh, shoulder pads are different. He's got the uh, body sculpt of Commander Stone and brand new leg sculpts, which are much thicker and uh, longer, like I said before. So, uh, really cool. So, before I finish this review, I'm just going to show you what it comes with. It comes with the uh, uh, battle game card, dice, battle stand, and the portion pack and rocket pack. So I hope you enjoyed this review and thanks for watching and may the force be with you.